In this video, we're gonna be looking at Imagine AI, which is an AI editing solution for photographers to not only speed up your workflow, but save you time and money. We're gonna be using Imagine AI to edit a real estate photo listing and a recent portrait session that I did in my media business and see everything it has to offer. We'll cover everything from setting it up, the workflow, the final results, and truly find out how efficient it is and if it's worth it altogether. So let's get into the video right now. So if you're a real estate photographer or you run a real estate media business or photography in general, you know that editing photos takes a lot of time. And when I first started out, I didn't realize that I was actually limiting the amount of work I could take on because half the time, if not more, was spent editing real estate photos. So once my business started to grow and we were taking on more shoots, I started to outsource our work. So this is where we can hire an editor or an editing company. Sometimes they're based here in the US or overseas and they basically do all of our photo editing. This is actually super common in the real estate space, especially once you get to the point of doing a lot of volume because it's the only way to handle it. Now, this is where Imagine AI comes into play and whenever they first reached out and I started using their program, I was more than excited to do a sponsored video with them because this might be a new third option that might be the best solution. So first off, what is Imagine AI? So Imagine AI is an AI powered editing solution for professional photographers that learns your personal style and saves you time. And one of the really cool ways that it learns the way to edit your style is you can upload at least 3000 of your recent edited photos so it can learn and train the algorithm on how you edit your photos. Now, if you don't have your own style or you're just starting out, no problem because they have a bunch of their own talent AI profiles, which is actually what we're going to use today because they have one for real estate and it's really, really cool. Honestly, already telling you that I was mind blown by the results. One thing to know is they're not just, you know, syncing and slapping on a preset across all your photos. You'll see once we get the edits back that every single photo is different as far as the white balance or the exposure, it all gets adjusted and fine tuned to how it should be. So that's the biggest thing. And so it's actually editing your photos like we would. And another reason why this should save you time because not only are you getting the editing off of your hands, but is the fact that it claims that it can edit photos at half a second per photo. So every half a second, it's already edited one photo. So that's crazy fast, way faster than me, of course. And if you're interested in checking it out, make sure to use the link in my description to get 1500 free edits to start with. Okay, so let's dive into the workflow and what it's like setting this up. So Imagine AI is its own standalone program, which is really cool because it works really well. Here you have the home screen where you can see some of your active projects, some of your AI profiles, which we'll get into shortly. Then over here, the next one is the AI profiles. And we go over here to profile showcase this is really cool. These are all the pre-made AI talent profiles that you can use. And the really cool thing, this is super cool, is you can actually test them out. You can get a comparison between them and see what it would look like. So you can come over here to compare style. And then I'm gonna click over here to add one of our own photos. And I'm gonna see how it looks like with the comparison of Elegant Home. So we can click that and then it's gonna upload it and it's gonna generate it. And I feel like it does actually do a little bit of editing right here in the comparison because you're gonna see that it's gonna fix exposure, the colors, things like that. Okay, so here we have it. This is crazy. This already looks so good. This is the original photo. It's a raw single exposure, not HDR merged or anything yet, which it can do. Here's the final result. We have clean white walls. We have the exposure corrected as it's really underexposed here, more balanced here. Colors look really nice. The white balance, you know, that already I'm saying looks really good. So whenever I did that the first time, I was like, okay, there is definitely something really good here. And I'm excited to test it out more. When it comes to portrait work, they have a ton of different options. And so here we go. Here we have the talent AI styles that we can compare. This is the original raw photo. This is from my R6 Mark II with my 50 millimeter lens. Here is the warm skin tones, which right off the bat looks really, really good. And here the modern classic is also a really good look as well. You know, obviously the great thing about this you'll see later on is we can tweak these as well, not just have to stay like this. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom, which is actually the first step before we send off the photos because we gotta cull it down and select the photos that we want to get edited. So 
I went through, five starred them. It's a lot, it's 149 photos total. So I just started a collection set and then I do whatever that is. So for this example, it's just called listing edit, but it would be just the name of the address. If we open up Imagine AI, we're just gonna come over here to projects, create new project, and we're gonna edit because we already called it down select real estate. So I'm gonna select my catalog and then here's the next step. All I'm gonna do is the name of this project, which is, you know, listing edit test. <laughs> and then here you're gonna choose your AI profile. I'm gonna showcase elegant home. So you can have these AI tools like crop, straighten, really important also, or HDR merge, which is what we're gonna be using. And then perspective correction. So this is really cool because like we do in Lightroom, we'll fix our verticals to make sure they are perfectly straight and level. If you hadn't organized your photos, you can actually leave them in there with the other ones that you don't want and put right here, you know, click on five stars and you're basically telling only edit the five star edited photo. So that's another option too. So we do want it to do the HDR merge and we do want it to do any perspective corrections. As you saw, I just dragged it over into that quick collection and this is the listing edit folder and it's 149 photos and that's what we need to edit. So all we have to do after that is click upload and it's gonna get started. So then it's gonna take you to your active projects. Another thing to know is it will vary on your internet speed. So you do wanna have good internet speed for uploading the photos, downloading them, things like that. Otherwise it might take you a lot longer. So that is one thing that I really like is the progression tab that shows you what step everything is on. So you could have multiple projects going on and you can just see the status of all of them. It also sends you an email update once your photos are complete, which is pretty handy as well. So now that we've sent off the listing photos to get edited, we're gonna also send off the portraits. Just realized, you know, <laughs> that's the whole point of this stuff is to have this doing the editing work for you so you can do other things. And so as you can see now, we're gonna get different AI tools. And so that's why it's really important to tell it what kind of project it is, whether it's real estate or things like that, because you have other things here too, like it can automatically crop to you or portrait crop or straighten or also smooth skin, which is actually one that I'm gonna leave on because we usually do that for all the portrait work. And so I'm gonna choose the warm skin tones because that was the best look that I saw, you know, really like that. We're just gonna come over here to a lifestyle content session, so the lifestyle photos we're gonna send off to get edited is from a recent lifestyle photo session that we do for a brokerage that is part of our monthly content plan. And it's really cool because once a month we go in, shoot photo content for them, video content. And so this is one from one of our recent shoots. So it's just different agents of the team and some lifestyle shots, some shots of like, you know, stuff they can use for social media, marketing, things like that. Okay, so we got that all selected and we're just gonna send it off to get uploaded as well. And as you can see, while those are being uploaded, we can see that the listing edit is already currently being edited. All of those photos got uploaded. So for 149 raw photos that honestly uploaded really quick. So again, having good internet speed is you know, pretty important for this. So again, this already is a huge time saver, especially if we like the results that we're gonna get back shortly because now I'm free to do other things like working on my business or working to get more business and just really free up my time from things that maybe aren't just the best case use of it. Okay, so we just got our first batch of photos back and it was the lifestyle portraits as I imagined and I sent those photos off 10 minutes ago. So 10 minutes ago, and they're already done. That is insane. I would have probably, you know, been on like the third or fourth photo right now since I am not a fast editor whatsoever. So now we'll go over here to download to review and we're gonna download the edits. Already done, wow. And we're gonna open Lightroom and see how they look. This is actually like one of the most exciting parts, you know, just seeing the results and how they come back. So you can see right now, as it's populating, wow. You can see the previews of it before and then we see the real time like edits being you know loaded on. So here we have the photo and I'll open the develop module so you can see the individual settings being changed. So if I know for a fact, if I go back here to ask shot, it was a totally different white balance. And so it was balanced, you know, it looks a lot better obviously. That profile just really aimed for skin tones, which I really, really liked. And if I go to the next photo, it's still in the same place. So I, of course, I can see some of the settings that are mostly the same, especially here, the white balance and the exposure changed here. And 
they just look really good. Natural, not over-processed. You know, what I expected from that preset. I used off-camera flash running through a softbox, had the lights off to get really good natural colors, not deal with like tungsten lighting, things like that. And yeah, just scrubbing through these, I would seriously just go ahead, export these and send them off. There's nothing I don't like about these photos. Man. Wow. It's done. Okay, so the photos are downloading and they're gonna be just popped in the Lightroom here shortly. And here we can see the edits coming in and wow. Okay, so all the previews have loaded and it looks really good. So we can start um, over here. This is a like 10 acre ranch style property. And I thought this was a good example just because one, there's a lot of just big open spaces, but it's nicely staged. And mind you that these listing photos were shot earlier in the year, kind of close to January. So as you can see, some of the grass is still a little bit dead, things like that. Now it's just like personal preference. Like do you want to saturate these a little bit more or things like that. But let me open the develop module again and you can see how like, yeah, like the highlights are changing from this one to that one, the blacks change, white balance value, the exposure. So all of them are being adjusted manually, you know, to each photo and what it needs, which is really, really cool. So here's the great thing about this because you get the actual files and you can do the editing yourself. So even though this one did a pretty good job. I feel like it's still a little bit on the underexposed side and I can just come in and just bring up exposure a little bit just to where I need it to and that's it. So I can just keep moving on, go on to the next one. That one looks really good. You know, I don't need to really do any adjustments to that. Same thing here. It's a great representation of the room. I feel like the colors look really good. So mind you, Here's the photo that we did as the example. You know, we can see now added in some more window detail. So for this listing, I did turn off the lights because there's a lot of natural light coming in and you know, it had white walls and I wanted it to look that way and not have that light, uh, tungsten light just spill everywhere and kind of cause a lot of color casts. Don't go into the comments yet. I am gonna show another example of mixed lighting so you can see how that turns out. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll check that out shortly. You know, again, here's another good example. I'm like, okay, maybe this one is a little bit more on the dark side. I can just come in, lift shadows a little bit and the exposure a little bit, bam. So here's some detail shots. So these are all single exposure shots that we do also, some detail shots. You know, if you don't do that for your real estate photos, it could be an easy add-on or just make you stand out from everyone else. We just take detail shots with a 50 millimeter prime lens of upgrades and important things, things like that, and handle that really well. And wow, look at this car. Uh, look at this car garage that they have. <laughs> full of awesome classics. So now let's look at another example. This is not gonna be a full listing, but I wanted to share some examples on mixed lighting. Most of us might be shooting with a bunch of tungsten lighting, things like that, so I wanted to show that as well. This is the preview of the raw photo, and oh man, those look really good. Wow. Here you can see there's obviously a lot more mixed lighting in this one, which you have blue light coming in and tungsten lighting, and so, it still did pretty well balancing it. Obviously it's not like crisp, crisp white, um, but you could come in and kind of adjust it yourself. You know, maybe target some of these tones a bit, sat desaturate them a bit. Some of these blue hues coming in from the window and just clean it up, but right there, you know, again, a few adjustments, that looks really good. I think this one came out great. I feel like if anything, I'll bring up the exposure a little bit, but that looks pretty good. Some of the detail shots, just to show you some with mixed lighting some outside shots, you know, some details of the pool. And then here's a daytime shot of just, you know, good sky, everything like that. I love how it made it look, but yeah, I am really happy with these. So honestly, super impressed because one, these edits that I use, these talent profiles are all available to anyone that wants to use this. You know, they're not my presets or something like that. So Obviously, it's even better if you have your own presets and looks that you've developed over the years and have thousands and thousands of edited photos like that. This is gonna work even better for you because you're gonna train the AI algorithm to edit like you and it's gonna constantly get better with deep learning. But I'm honestly impressed just to let alone with the talent profiles that you can use that are one, catered to specific things like real estate and portrait work. So who is this for? You know. 
I think that one of the great things about this program is it's not aimed for one type of person. It's not just aimed for the beginner that maybe doesn't know editing or doesn't really know how to get started. Because one, yes, if you are getting started in real estate photography and maybe editing is holding you back or maybe you're not producing the best work, this would be a great solution for you, of course, because I love that you do see all the individual settings in Lightroom so you can also learn what each edit is doing to your photos and things like that. But also for people like me that are more seasoned and might be doing a lot of volume. So the fact that it can also do our portrait work and other types of photography as well, I just, you can't really beat that. <laughs> but now one of the most other important things, price. So one of the really cool things that they do is yes, they have their plans here, which you can see which is suited for you. But one thing to know is you do get a thousand free credits whenever you get started. That's really awesome. So like me, I'm still on the trial plan and I can still do all of the edits that I did. And I haven't even really used a chunk of the credits yet. So that's really awesome that they offer that. But you can go down to their pricing section and go down to a pricing calculator to get a real time estimate on what this cost. So if you remember correctly, that listing photo edit project was like 150 files. You know, let's say that it's even more than that, 200 files for a bit of a bigger home. So 200 files and we do want to do straightening, for example, $12. No one's gonna do a photo editing project for $12 because I can tell you from my personal experience, whenever we do around 150 to 250 files sent off to an editor, that costs me around 40 to $60 per edit. Okay, Editor Andre here. I wanted to give you an update on the cost of HDR merged photos because apparently it's not gonna be charged where it's like, for example, five individual photos. It's only gonna be charged for one photo, which is even better because right now it is currently in the beta phase and so it doesn't even cost anything so hdr merge at the time of recording this video doesn't even cost anything extra but when it's out of beta phase it will charge you for one edited photo which is really good that's awesome because i thought it was going to be like you know count as five photos or three photos like you know however many photos to merge it so that's great news i feel like it's going to cost even less than what i thought it would for a listing a full listing edit and so yeah back to the video so that's it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel. And if you're interested in checking out Imagine AI, head to the link in my description where it will give you 1,500 free credits to start with. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.